What's up, everybody? Check out my book, Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. That's because in my neighborhood, they got a corner store, but it's in the middle of the block. So listen, you ever go, you ever watch a horse race on TV, right? And all the horses come out the gate at the same time. And you know, like one horse will take the lead, then the other horse will take the lead, then another horse will take the lead, right? They were like, Yo, Sugar Daddy's in front and Sugar Daddy's about to get passed by uh, the Greek, the you know, they have all these funny names for horses. But, you know, like the horses, one horse will take the lead, then another horse take the lead. But it don't matter. All that matter is who crossed the finish line first. And I'm making a point that it doesn't matter how you start the race. The end results are what count. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And I was making a point, like, about the Carolina Panthers and about, like, most big guys. And I was making a, uh, a correlation between big guys in boxing and big guys in sports in general now cam newton is a big guy you know and he's usually you know i think he weighs like he's like i don't know he's a big dude shit i don't know but you know like when you big you usually like spoiled in a sense like who was a bully when you was in school it was always the big guys and big guys never really had to test themselves because there's nobody there to test them unless it's another big guy you know, like, even in boxing, you never know who's going to win a fight between heavyweights. Because any time a guy weighs 200 pounds or more, all it takes is one punch to knock the guy out. So you never know who's going to win. But, like, I was making a point, like, Cam Newton, he basically quit in the game. And, you know, like, most big guys like that, when they, they spoil you because they used to shit going their way. They never have to test themselves. Like, Larry Bird... Uh, Peyton Manning, you know, they're not really athletic, but they work hard. And like I say, Larry Bird was slow, and he couldn't jump, but he had a basketball mentality. He was always in the right place at the right time, and that's what made him a winner. That's what separated him from everybody else. You know, even Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan could jump his ass off, could shoot his ass off, and shit like that. But when you compare him to Larry Bird, Larry Bird didn't have all the athletic ability. Athlet he didn't have um, athletic ability compared to Dr. J or Magic Johnson. But Larry Bird, like I said, he was slow and he couldn't jump and he just worked his ass off. And it's just like Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning, you know, he, you know, he just worked hard. I wanted the Panthers to win. But, you know, like Cam Newton, he just like quit in the game. And that's what I didn't like about it. Like I said, when you're watching a fight and you see a guy drop his head, that means he's lost the desire and the will to win. You know, he won't quit to the point where he turns around and walks away like Roberto Duran did against Sugar Ray Leonard. But he quits, you know, and then the referee will stop the fight or whatever. And, you know, when he gets tired of getting the shit beat out of him, then the referee will stop the fight. But Cam Newton quit in that game last night. And, you know, like I said, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And he's used to he's used to being a winner and not being faced with opposition. And he just quit. That's what it looked like to me. All right, y'all. I'm out. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. The end results are what count. Peace. Check out my book, Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block.